What's, What's up, up C squad? squad? It's Nigel C and Daddy C. I'm Daddy son. Kick talk. And today we're kick talking about about the Air Jordan One Low OG Retro Dark Powder Blue. Bam! This guy, this guy here, a low OG Retro Jordan One. This is just the box, Nigel. Before we open the box, what should they do if it's their first time here? Y'all need to ring that notification bell right now. Please do that. Put right quick. Look at us, yeah. Ring the bell. Now, let's get into what, it. Now that you've done that, I hope you did it. Now we can get into the shoe after you do that. All right, man. We got it. We got it. We're going to get into it. Do it first. All right. So this is a shoe that was kind of, you know, they pushed back a little bit. I know it released in Europe before it released here in the States. I know some people that got them in the overseas raffle. I did not. I picked these up off of the sneakers drop. But this is a pair that's I bought in my size, but I'm actually getting these out. I'm assisting Ooh. these to somebody else. It's a very clean pair. Okay. But it's similar to kind of like a shooter the, already had. The Cactus Jack fragments, right? There you go. I exactly. was really thinking that. You yeah. Like thinking that they look like them? I, th I was thinking they look like them. Yeah. Yeah, they look like them a lot. I mean, obviously it doesn't have the backward swoosh, but yeah. it's very similar in colorway. Mm -hmm. So it's just one of those shoes. Sometimes you get a shoe and you like, I don't really need these, mm -hmm. but I still wanted to see these, right? Yeah. Get them in hand, see if I could cop. And then, you know, in the sneakerhead community, there's always somebody else that wants a shoe. Mm -hmm. So it's really not hard to unload a shoe if you really need to. Yeah. It's like, who wants? Who wants uh -huh. them? And I know people are kind of in my size range, so these are shipping out. Nice. Literally after we film this. Wow. So we're not going to put them on. Very we'll kind talk of you, about Daddy Seed. Hey, I mean, you know, again, similar to a shoe I already have, so it's not fully necessary. Mm -hmm. But the OG Low Retro. So real quick, just talk about the shoe. I mean, I love this because of the black toe. Yeah. You got the black toe with the white on top of the toe box. Mm -hmm. But the low OGs are different than like the regular lows that come out. How so? Soles the same, but the OG, like this front half is the same as the other ones, the other lows. But mm -hmm. on this back half, it's different. So I don't even have any of the regular lows that drop. I only have the OG retro and like the Travis lows, but they have this back tab that's yeah. not on those. They don't have a whole bunch of collar like padding because oh. those other lows have they're like a little higher and have more padding around the top mm -hmm. The OGs don't have the padding. Right, the right. OGs. So these yeah. are cut similar to the original OGs from 1985, the OG lows. So mm -hmm. they, you know, they cut them just like this, and this is kind of what they harken back to hmm. for these OG retro lows, which I prefer all day. And they have like the pressed on wings logo yeah. on the back. That's what it's called, the pressed on. I mean, it's just you know, it's painted on. Oh, I thought you meant like pressed on, like that's the <coughs> name for <laughs> wings. Pressed on, yeah. pressed on wings. Yeah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. So yeah, you got that back tab with the yeah. the, the classic. Wings logo, mm -hmm. bottom of the sole. You got this dark powder blue. The heel, you got dark powder blue, right? Yeah. But I like the color blocking, man. I was I was about to say that. I like how you can see here how it transitions from black in this whole area mm -hmm. to white, right? Mm -hmm. And then to the bottom mm -hmm. right, the whole bottom right area is blue. You got you got blue yeah, in right the here, and the sole is blue as well. So it's kind yeah. of like diagonally the same colors, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, it's a nice shoe, man. I, I think the colorway is nice. Mm -hmm. The leather on this black leather here is a really nice, smooth leather. I mean, yeah. this is like glove leather. Yeah. Really soft, like I think it's, you know, it's this not is, tumbled or anything. It's but just it's, a quality shoe, I can't lie. Yeah. It's just like, it's just good. Yeah, it's a good quality, I agree. It's good. You got the classic Nike Air on the tongue, so mm -hmm. no Jumpman Air. That's what they do also. It's yeah. kind of like the way the mids are. Mm -hmm. The Jumpman logo with Air underneath. Give me Nike Air, man. Wherever you can give That's me Nike like. Air, I'll take Nike That's Air. What you like, especially on the back. I know you love that. Yeah, man, with on the, the back of the highs. The fours. Fours and threes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me Nike Air. All of them. Sixes, Nike Air. Please. Why are you just, you're just not rocking with the Jumpman? I thought Michael Jordan was like your idol back oh, in the day. You were like, Michael we all, everybody, Jordan. Everybody loved Mike. But you just but don't just, like Mike. It's just on the shoe. I went the Air, like the Nike Air logo. Mm -hmm. It's just that original OG styling, you know? That's your, yeah. that's your OG mindset right there. Exactly. I exactly. get it. I get it. So, hey, yeah. I don't blame you though. It is nice. It is nice. <laughs> so the black leather get really nice. The white yeah. leather is really nice. Mm -hmm. All throughout. I mean, it's the a blue leather. leather's really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And talking about the difference, like the similarities, let's look at Oh, you this. just got it. I pulled it out. <laughs> now, these are worn. They're getting beat, honestly. It just, it's just, you know, the crease action. Let me hold this real quick, because I've never really taken the time to actually look at this shoe. We're not doing a whole nice, nice tour of the shoe. nice, bro. Yeah, it's nice. Thanks, man. 
See, as you can see, I wear my sneakers. You know, make sure y'all wear your sneakers so they don't fall apart. You can't take them with you. Don't just leave them in the closet in the box forever. What's wrong, dude? Mm, Stop it. I don't wanna, uh-uh. Don't it. you act like you don't got <laughs> 10 million pairs of shoes that been sitting in that closet uh, since 2005. I mean, they're old, but they have been worn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They have been worn. You might pull out one shoe every couple hey. of years, make sure it's still good. We're not talking about me. We're talking about the similarities <laughs> uh -huh. between uh -huh. the color block. And I mean, of course, this is not a powder blue like this. Yeah. It's more like a navy blue, but just similar. So it's like, yeah. do I really need that shoe? Because I mean, you look at this and look at that, right? It's basically the and same. And it's like literally, right. Set, you have the aging on the, the sole yeah. and, you know, of course, there's differences, it's right. mm -hmm. but it's similar enough mm -hmm. where it's like, okay, these I'll pass on. Maybe. What's that? Maybe you could really keep this now that you got you got a whole brand new shoe so this isn't one at all I you got you. this completely fresh fresh out the box quality yeah you keep that and since these are already worn you don't want to have two of the same shoe <laughs> where's this going? this one over here oh if only it was a 12 man maybe i would even i can fit an 11 you be squeezing it in like cinderella that's fine <laughs> cinderella's still wore the shoe <laughs> Be busting out of there, no, like the stepsisters. Remember, like they're like, ah, it doesn't fit. Yeah, Just trying to squeeze their foot into the shoe. Yeah, and they be in worse shape than they are now. I tried. So yeah, you got the back tab on this shoe like they did the low mm -hmm. OGs. And anyway, enough of that. Just doing a comparison in yeah. the colors. Cause we're here to talk about the dark powder blue. Mm -hmm. And um, dark powder, why is it called dark powder when this is like a really light blue? I think it's dark, I might be totally wrong. Let's go here. This is this dark is powder blue, no, it's dark. Where does it say dark? This is DK, man. DK? Dark powder blue. Oh, it is DK. Y'all can see it on the logo okay. too. All right, so dark powder blue. You right. All right. So that's it, man. Nigel, where do you rate this shoe, dude? It's a quality shoe. I don't really see anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. It's not super something super out of the ordinary for me. I'm going to give it an eight. All right. Regular shoe. I like it. I think, eight. Yeah, I think I might be somewhere right in there as well. I'll say mm -hmm. eight. I yeah. mean, it's not super exciting, uh -huh. but it's clean. Yeah. It's like, you know, a nice staple to the, you know, colorway to have in your mm -hmm. arsenal. What do y'all rate that? Let us know. Where are you? One to ten. Let us know what y'all think about it. Hit us in the comments. Hit me on Instagram, at Real Daddy Seed. Also on Twitter, TikTok, all the same, at Real Daddy Seed. We'll see you on the next one. Ring, Ring that, that notification bell. bell. That's right. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. Peace.